Hey, what's up, guys? So, uh, recently, my favorite arranger, Jeremy Lubbock, passed away, and he was one of the main reasons I got into writing orchestrations. I really never heard anybody write like Jeremy Lubbock. So I decided to do a video of one of my Jeremy Lubbock-inspired moments. About four or five years ago, I wrote an arrangement of I'll Be Home for Christmas as a Christmas gift to myself. I normally don't get the opportunity to write in this style unless I'm doing a project of my own. And uh, unfortunately, these projects aren't cheap, so <laughs> I don't do it much. But anyway, here's a few bars from the arrangement. I promise you I'll be home for Christmas. All right, so here we have the chords. I'm going to play through them. So these three bars aren't supposed to make any sense theoretically. This is just what I felt at the moment and I wrote it. So right here from the D6-9 to the E flat 6 9 these are rootless chords, meaning I didn't write anything in the bass. These first three chords are 6-9 chords and they sound pretty sweet. Then once we get to the D flat 7, flat 9, flat 5, the sound changes. Right, you can hear more tension. So I took that up a half step to D. Right, same chord, just a half step up. And I love writing these chords in strings. They sound really beautiful. Then right here we have more 6-9 chords, starting at the C6-9. So right here at the E6-9, going to the E-flat 6-9, this E natural is held over to the end of two. So basically, the E is sustained, and I changed the chord underneath it. So the chord sounds like basically uh, uh, E flat 6 9, and there's an E in the melody. So I probably wouldn't stay on that chord for too long, but it sounds nice in passing. Once we get to the G9 over F, the bass comes in. I really got inspired by Jeremy regarding these voices here. So now we get down here to the G over B, and everything feels more light and less dense. That's because we went from using five voices to four. Down here in the bass, we have a chromatic descending line in the bass, right? Along with the descending bass line, I pretty much just changed the chord on every note. So once we get to the C sharp 7, sharp 9 over G sharp, we're back to five voices. Then right here, we end it with a 2-5. So the G minor 7 is a closed voicing. And then the C13 flat 9 is the open voicing. Right? And then up here, um, the flutes and clarinets are right here. And then the French horns we have right here. And if you listen to the arrangement, you'll hear the winds and the French horns come in right there. All right, thank you guys so much. And uh, rest in peace, Jeremy Lubbock, one of the best.